Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. Anything and everything about Land Rovers. This is your friend, Dan O. How is it going today? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got something a little interesting for you today. Get uh, everything in focus here and uh, out of the way and everything. Yeah. I've got myself... Uh, well, do you know what these are? Let's take a look. It's to traditional Land Rover. The hood's stuck open. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. Anyway, let's take a look. Mebe Toys. I think that's pronounced Mebe Toys. A Land Rover made in Italy. Another car made in Italy. Mebe Toys. All right, now... Um, I think I bought these both off of eBay because there's no way I could find such a creature here in the Midwest. But uh, they are very unique. I like that the uh, <laughs> Mimi toys there really went all out there with their uh, uh, <laughs> rear hatch, which is uh, totally true to life how uh, they work. <laughs> now, if you had a series vehicle, which this is, the bottom half, they, they do uh, operate like this, but not the whole door. If I can catch the whole door here, I'll just have to turn it upside down. The whole door doesn't go like that. The top half does. The bottom half would have a, it would be the tailgate. But anyway, minor details. Got the stars on there. Anyway, we're going to be talking about Mimi Toys. And this particular one happens to be an A42 rubber wheels with uh, metal... Um, uh, center caps in it has an opening hood uh, that are, like I say there's something you can see it in the windscreen too there's something that got gooed up in there anyway it does have a uh, very fancy spoked wheel on the hood uh, you know I'm wondering if that is even uh, uh, stock or not now that I'm looking at that that might be an add-on yeah, I think that's an add-on, a customized. And then we lost the green jerry cans. These little green jerry cans, they should be up front too. Anyway, uh, as you can kind of see that this is the Trans-American Tour uh, replica. And uh, yeah, just a very neat, uh, does have opening doors to it. We're going to get into a little bit about uh, this uh, little unique... Mebe Toys, Left Hooker, if you noticed, uh, well yeah, let's just talk about uh, Mebe Toys for a little bit, 19, well, 1959 is when they, they started, uh, 50s and 60s is when they started going through uh, and producing metal toys, now this is a metal base with a metal body, all this is metal, the only thing that's plastic is this roof rack here, and the little like jerry cans, but everything else is metal. Metal center caps, stuff like that. The the grill is uh, uh, plastic. It goes along with the uh, with the engine. That we'll we'll look at that later. But uh, Melby Toys happened to be purchased in uh, 1969 by Mattel. Could you? And their uh, direct com competition was. Uh, uh, Pull of Steel and Solodu uh, models, which are premium. Uh, Solodu is still around, and they do some excellent premium stuff there. Um, but uh, yeah, so this red one here, they had a variation, which was a green army truck. Uh, you know, the traditional green with a had a white star on it. I think there was a grayish blue Expedition one. And then a very expensive orange one. I don't know why, and I think that one was uh, like a pickup version. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, yeah, just uh, pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, like I say, there was rubber tires on it. This one I got off of eBay, like I said, and uh, just kind of, just kind of really neat. They're, they're, um, I believe these are what one thirty some scale. And, uh, yeah, just, just really kind of neat. Um, 
it is it they are not um, riveted they're screwed together but you can see that the uh, heavy-duty metal I mean this is a heavy model for not being that big it's like 143rd scale or whatnot so that's the first one that I got and I thought that was pretty keen uh, beat up and banged up and uh, customized here but uh, really kind of cool uh, opening back hatch and I, I don't know do we get to look in there there's a green green luggage rack back in there as well we can kind of see in there yeah maybe we can maybe we can shine some more light into it there we go a little bit more light in there but uh, nice plastic interior glass all the way around this door does open as well Let's see if we can get a better peek in there very nice construction I really like this model I was kind of really happy to get get this if this does look familiar that's because it's a copy of this one and I I was looking at and doing my research and this came popping up and I'm like you know I thought I had another one like this and I'm like yeah I do but this is the competition here the Burgo the Burgo yeah and they did that trans uh, American uh, so yeah so don't be confused between the two there are two different uh, the trans American tour um, so there you go so uh, shh just going along, uh, shopping along on eBay. Now this one uh, uh, has uh, a tire on it. Now that is not an add-on. That is the actual uh, tire what is on. Uh, this one's missing the tire. And then this has the little green uh, thing. But this one is broke off. And I don't I don't have my super glue right to at the spot here. But here's a yellow one. Now this one is, uh, we'll take a look, this one is A40, which I believe is obviously a little bit later date, um, because it has its sports plastic tires. Now these are kind of uh, heavier duty plastic versus, you know, some of the chintzier toys, um, but I don't, and I don't know if this is during the Mattel era or not, I think this is before the Mattel era era but this has the opening hood now you see the uh, engine in there pretty neat engine got a radiator there and that is part of the grill or the grill is another separate part I should say because that's chrome yeah that's just snapped on the front there but uh, very very interesting it has a sticker on there and that's kind of a Oh, I want to say a plastic sticker on there, a rubberized plastic sticker, and uh, still sports the opening door. Oh, look at that chrome steering wheel, and we're riding in style there. Look at that. it does have some detail on the uh, interior of the door, that's kind of neat. Um, the funny thing is, I thought this was kind of different when I was doing my looking and searching and the uh, and, analyzing these models look at that stick show that's yeah that's right up there doing my uh, research and looking I'm like hey um, I don't know what this used to say I couldn't take a guess I I'm not sure I think it's German uh, just my guess there if anybody know oh progress something something but anyway as you notice uh, it doesn't have windows like the first one and I'm like, well, and if you can't notice by now, yeah, take a look at this. They just put those vinyl rubbery stickers right over the windows. Same kind of look inside here, but you can see that there's uh, windows available there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of ingenious. You got to just make a whole nother different thing. But this is a plastic model, a plastic wheel model, still metal on metal, very heavy. Um, very kind of, very kind of cool. I'm glad that I've got two of them so you can kind of see, you know, uh, the different stages. But, you know, obviously the rubber tires are the, you know, the wanted to be older ones. Very, but they really roll kind of nice too, you know. Not, not too bad. Um, this one's not quite as good with those plastic tires. So let's talk about, uh, Mibi Toys under... Mattel and they kind of took off and started doing 124 scale toys and um, 
they came out with a different one, which is really kind of cool, uh, and it's called the uh, East Safari, or East Africa Photo Safari Film, and uh, it's an open top, it has antennas, and it has a uh, motion picture camera in the middle of it, uh, you know, because it's, it's an all an open top, it's like a greenish color. Uh, but I guess there's red, yellow, and blue ones of that uh, photo safari. And that's spelled, if you're going to look it up, <laughs> F-O-T-O safari. Yeah, so <laughs> don't put P-H. No P-H here. But uh, really kind of cool model there. Got some really decent um, the details and everything in this model. I, I just... I really kind of cool. I would like to have uh, more of these, even that uh, the one A seventy four. Well, the the uh, Safari photo one is. I don't know the number on that one, but uh, oh, we turned uh, we turned real yellow there. <laughs> uh, the other one that they did, uh, Mattel did for Melby Toys, uh, Mebi. Sorry, Mebi Toys. Uh, is a fire truck and it has uh, like it's all metal but except for they took that they made this uh, station wagon into a pickup a uh, long wee base pickup series 2 that's uh, fried eggs on the grill for you uh, and then they put a plastic part on it and then they put fire uh, ladder and stuff like that on top that was red obviously and uh but uh, but that one came also in, with the rubber tires as well as the plastic tires. I thought it only came in the one way, but there is, I guess, a couple of models that have the rubber tires for that uh, fire engine uh, livery. But uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Do you got any of these? Uh, have you come across them? I know, I mean, mine are pretty well beat up and played with. And that's about the only way that I could afford them and get them shipped here is because, you know, this stuff isn't uh, readily available available here in uh, mid-Wisconsin. But uh, you can kind of see that vinyl uh, sticker on there, how that's coming off. But uh, really kind of cool, really kind of cool. I'm, I'm really happy to have these. These are in, my, uh, in a separate case, glass case. I got... Uh, a lot of the old rubber tired toys in their uh, corgis and stuff like that. All right, well, comment down below. Let me know if you have ever came across this. How do you like that custom job? <laughs> Can't go without a spare tire. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Remember, folks, my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.